This is Lewis Art for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store and William Hill. Delighted today to be joined with Callis Owland. It's weigh-in day. We expect we had a lot yesterday. What are we expecting today? More the same. Um, I've decided to leave the suit at home. Uh, had to be dry clean with the uh, fish smell coming off it. I don't know. There were buckets being thrown with some things yesterday. There was dead fish being thrown. I don't know. Um, it's on out of a Godfather movie. How was, how was that sort of at the press conference? You know, every time we have a Misfits one, it always seems to get sort of the levels of carnage seems to be getting more and more every single time. It's what they do day in day out in their day jobs, isn't it? You know, they cause carnage, that causes followers, and that you know creates hype. And you know, some of it's real, some of it I think it's a bit, a bit. I don't know if the word staged is a fair word, but it's you know it's it's all part of the show. Uh, some of it goes too far, like we saw recently in New Orleans uh, with Mr. Diaz and co, but, um, but you know, most of it is, is good humoured, some of it is, is proper, you know, uh, you know, KSI and Fournier, that's a proper fight, um, it's going to be an interesting one, um, it's, you know, it, it's a very different fight uh, for KSI than other opponents he's faced, so, that's going to be uh, certainly going to be an interesting one. Saul Pappy, Anthony Taylor, um, also, also one that I'm looking forward to see. A big. Do you feel like this fight for KSI is, is easily the biggest risk of his career so far against Joe Fawley in 9 no Pro? It's a similar situation that Jake Paul was in earlier this year. You know, um, you know, no one's saying that Joe Fournier is Muhammad Ali, and no one was saying Tommy Fury is Muhammad Ali. Um, but one thing's for sure, they've both got proper pro records. Um, you know, Joe Fournier was in the top 10 of the World Boxing Association world rankings, um, was an international champion. The title now was held by Joshua Boazzi, so not, not comparing levels here, but I'm not saying that Joe Fournier is a Joshua Boazzi. But at the same time, you know, it's something that he's, uh, he's, got, he's got to beat. And moving on slightly, obviously the news came out just after the recent announcement of Liam Smith versus Chris Eubank Jr., the rematch, um, and another announcement coming out has been pushed back till July 1st. Um, was that sort of a frustrating thing to hear just after the announcement happened? It's become a bloody regular thing to hear when it comes to Eubank Jr. fights, isn't it? You know, I can go back to where he was fighting at Wembley Arena a couple of Octobers ago. That was pushed back to Newcastle. Then there was Liam, uh, Liam Williams. Liam Williams got pushed a month. Um, I'm not even going to talk about the other fella. Um, and then you look at the, the first Liam Smith fight, that was supposed to be in December, that got pushed to January. This one's now got pushed two weeks. Um, finally received the medical yesterday, which we're looking at six days later. You know, it's, it's, all, it's all a bit odd. You know, it's two weeks. Yes, it's only two weeks, it's, uh, but frustrating. I'm literally going to ask you that if you've received medical confirmation. Obviously, yesterday it was that you haven't, but it seems now you have. We're reviewing it. That's fair enough. Um, obviously, Liam Smith done an interview with Andrew McCart from IFL today, and he came out and he said that, oh, Chris, U Chris Eubanks, uh, he's rubbing off on colour, and he's starting to become a little bit of a clown. I don't know if you saw that. Was your sort of reaction to that I comment? Seen it yet? No, I have to go look at that. What did he say? He said his words were, "Color, color, Chris Eubank Jr." No, sorry. Eubank Jr. is starting to rub off on Caller a little bit. He's becoming a bit of a clown. That's what, that's what, that's what Liam Smith said. Okay. I speak more to Paul Smith than I do to Chris Eubank Jr. So maybe, I don't know, Paul's rubbing off on me. Yeah. No, joking aside, no. I've, 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 I've done a lot with the Smith family. I'd like to think that they would see that I've also done quite a lot for them. Uh, Callum Smith, World Boxing Super Series, Paul Smith couple of his biggest fights over in Germany so I think you know I think I'd, I'd hope to say that uh, we're a good said no no Liam I haven't turned into a clown but thanks for the uh, reference that's all right another obviously what, what, what basis did he what, what did I say to make him think that I turn into a clown I, I don't know it must have been something funny, I, funny how funny how funny I, like I think it was something to do with the, the you asking about the medical evidence I'm pretty sure it, that's I think that's what it was well I'll turn it around what did it take from Friday to yesterday, more what was yesterday? Thursday. Yeah. Friday to Thursday for us to get an off games done for a two-week delay. 
<laughs> well, why did it take that? We're talking about clowns. What, what clown doctor was that? That took six days to give us an off games note. Do you think that there is something, you know, I'm not trying to make conspiracy. No, I'm not, I, I, no, I'm not listen, I'm, I, I, there's a bit of gamesmanship in it, I'm sure, you know, but at the end of the day, I, I don't think it's really, I, 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 what I wasn't happy about, and that isn't really the Liam side of things, is that they went out with an announcement but before we'd even seen a medical or yeah, been in, you know, that, that's, so, I don't blame Liam for that, he didn't announce it, you know, uh, Boxer and then Sky didn't, so, so like, really, that's more, the frustrating. I understand why they've done it, but it's not very respectful on the opponent just to go out and announce a new date without even having to see the medical. I've never heard of that before in 23 years of boxing. I was going to ask you, you know, how much of it did you know about July? Who the clown is now? <laughs> uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not calling anyone a clown. You know. But yeah, I was going to say, how much of it did you have to do with July 1st? Was that so, something you consented to? You know, how much? How much did you have to do with July 1st? I mean, obviously, it's something that you got to deal with, but. Was it much that was agreed beforehand? No, it wasn't agreed beforehand. That's what I'm saying. It just went out. Uh, should work, but, but I'm just saying, it generally, you wait, the medicals are provided, everyone's in accordance, I get it, I, I totally get it. There's people, a lot of people have bought tickets, they've gone fantastically apparently, but, you know, because there's some rumours out there, you, you, you have to wait until it's done properly with both boxers. They're both in camps, you know, Liam and my guy Chris is in a camp. So you can't just say, oh, well, it's two weeks. What about if he was getting married two weeks later? Or his, I don't know, his, his, his partner was giving birth, right? It's big factors. I've seen a lot of fights not made because of because of partners being in, 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 in pregnancies or whatever. It isn't, wasn't the case here, but I'm just saying it's a question of respect. And that isn't a Liam Smith, I'm not saying it's Liam Smith, I'm saying, from the other side, but I do, you do, I mean, why does it take six days to, for us to be given that information? That's all I'm saying. Moving on, another comment was obviously, another comment made from Eddie Hearn saying that with the Conor Ben opponent, he said that the team Sauerland and Wasserman were pushing hard for a Eubank for for the Ben fight to be made again, but they they had no option but to force the the Smith uh, rematch. Is that was those true comments from Eddie Hearn? I, I don't know. I, don't, I can't quite. What do you mean? But I don't, so, so he was saying that I don't get the I don't get the comment. So he was saying that Team Sauerland were pushing hard for the Ben fight for Eubank Junior, but then they were forced to have the Smith the Smith rematch. Is that much is that much truth to that? Oh we we had I've been totally open. We had a discussion around the Ben fire. Absolutely. But in the end it was Eubank who wanted the, the rematch. So but the, the discussions to be fair also never progressed. There was never things in writing. It, it was a discussion. So just to sort of close it off, what happens with your man KSI tomorrow night? Yeah, he does the business in style. Does the business in style, we move on, you know, we've got something uh, nicely nestling away in the background. I said nicely nestling away in the background, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see, but um, no, it's uh, interesting times. Kala, I appreciate your time, mate, and uh, all the best. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Thank you.